Big data has become a big problem, but also an advantage to many across the world. Now there are whistleblowers who are coming out and raising concerns regarding what big data could mean for the future of the uh, of countries across the world and also for the future of privacy, of uh, fake news, misinformation, so on and so forth. I'm being joined by a Facebook whistleblower, Sophie Jung, who uh, came out and raised concerns with regards to what's happening within Facebook. Sophie, many thanks for joining us. Uh, it takes a lot for uh, somebody who's employed with Facebook to come out, not just question the system, but also take the matter to the authorities. First, explain to our viewers what really happened when you were employed with Facebook. What is it that you witnessed, that you saw, and uh, that really raised alarm bells for you? Hi, thank you very much to, for having me today. It's an honor and a pleasure to speak with the Indian people. So, so I worked at Facebook from January 2018 to September of 2020. And while I was at Facebook, I was very low level. I was a data scientist, which meant that I looked at numbers, figured out what they meant and, told, and explained it to people. And and my and my role was it was in, in in authenticity. It, it was in it was in fake engagement. But by fake, I mean likes, common shares. By by uh, uh, sorry, by engagement, I mean likes, common shares. By etc. By fake, I mean for instance, fake accounts. An account pretending to be someone who doesn't exist. A hacked account. An account pretending to a real person that has been hacked into that no longer belongs to the creator. Someone else has taken it over, and the the, the true owner does not have ownership over it anymore, or even self-compromised accounts in which people give over their credentials willingly to third parties like auto-likers that, that then use their accounts for nefarious purposes, even as they retain access themselves. And so this, and so this was this was my day job, but 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 I also worked in my spare time to fi to find and stop attempts to use Facebook to to, to 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 manipulate people in the political realm with inauthentic accounts. For instance, I caught the governments of Honduras and Azerbaijan red-handed. They were using thousands of fake Facebook assets to manipulate, mislead, and repress their own citizenry. Azerbaijan is, of course, a dictatorship, for instance. And unfortunately, I also found cases in India as well. Well, uh, Sophie, interesting. We'll come to India first, but the larger perspective. Uh, how did you come across this entire misinformation campaign? Uh, did it take an extra effort or was it there for everybody to see, but people within Facebook were turning a blind eye? So, so I want to be clear here about a distinction. So, so, so I worked on on inauthentic accounts. I did not work on misinformation. This may sound similar to the average person, but they're actually completely different. If I if I if I if I if I if someone goes on social media and says Hinduism is the same religion as Islam, this is an incorrect statement. It's in misinformation. It doesn't matter who, who says it. Perhaps you're a prime minister, perhaps you're a politician, perhaps you're a religious leader, perhaps you're just a 10 year old child. It doesn't matter who you are. It just matters that th this statement is incorrect. And so, and so it is generally easy for people to tell whether, it's, whether something is misinformation, but, but when they are willing to put in the time to research, but misinformation is a bit controversial in terms of what the question, in terms of what should be done with, with it. Some people defend it uh, uh, on terms of free speech. What, what I instead worked on was inauthentic accounts, and so I'm going to use another analogy. Suppose, suppose that I, I set up 10,000 fake accounts on Facebook pretending to, be, it, 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 pretending to be Indian people who do not exist, and I use these fake accounts to say, Hindus are perfectly nice people. There is nothing wrong with this statement. <laughs> and uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with saying this, but I'm using fake accounts to do so. And, and so Facebook would be correct to take it but down, even if I shot loudly afterwards, that since Facebook is censoring pro-Hindu ad messages because what was bad about this had nothing to do with the message. It had to do with the means by which the message was being spread. And I hope this is making sense. It can be much, it can be much more difficult to, to discover whether an account is fake or not. That requires a lot of that requires a lot of details behind who, who's be, about who, how the account is being run, who, who's behind it, etc. On the flip side, on, on the flip side, I don't usually hear people defending that the use of fake accounts, although they are, and although the, the use is unfortunately somewhat common in India with IT sales and the like.